Hi all. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bookish Sleepy. And I'm here in the car. It's the start of a new week. It's Monday evening. Back from work. Back from school. Hopefully gonna get some reading done tonight. I have a ton of homework to do. But we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Oh, and if I didn't mention, this is the start to a reading vlog. I know these are super popular. I love watching them. I love seeing how people fit reading into their lives um, and into their schedule. And I just thought I'd include it because I am all over the place all the time. So, cry school, work, and more work, all that kind of fun stuff. So, I will keep you guys posted on what I'm reading. And oh, let me let me actually talk about what I'm reading for a second. So I am currently reading Wild Card by Marie Lu II in the Warcross duology. And I have mixed feelings about it, to be honest. I loved Warcross. I loved Warcross. Thought it was so fun. Just everything I wanted Ready Player One to be, <laughs> basically. I like this one in terms of what's happening in the plot. I think that I really like that part of it. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's missing some like relationships and interactions that I would like to see but um I'm only oh like a hundred pages in and like yeah that's pretty far in like a 300 page book but I'm I have faith that that it will be reinvigorated so in hindsight some homework I need to do welcome to the reading vlog welcome to the re week I'm gonna make vine references it's gonna be a fun time so I just, I hate this class so much. Hey y'all, coming from you, coming to you from Tuesday afternoon. I am, well, I guess it's not afternoon, technically it's like 11.30. I'm going to head into work. I have some like projects to do and I have some homework to do at work um, because the internet is currently down at my house, which sucks, but then I have class tonight from 4 to 7 and then we'll be making it home in the rain to do more homework and hopefully read some. I have wild card with me in the car. I read um, a little bit last night, not a ton, um, but I'm excited to deep dive. Hopefully we'll have time tonight to deep dive into that. So let's go. Let's go Tuesday. Let's. Wow. So yeah, let's go Tuesday. Let's let's do this. Wednesday my dudes. Forgive the glare on the glasses, but I just found out <laughs> that Lainey Taylor is going to be in Missouri for her book tour next week. And I'm dying. I'm now going. I don't care what I have to do, but I'm going to get there. And I am just, I am so excited. Wow. There's, wow. Am I, hold on. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm dealing with right now. Well, you had to get the squeakiest toy in the house? Yeah. Yeah, you did. You're just gonna, just gonna lay with it. Okay, that, that's fine too. But anyway, I am so excited. As you all know, you might, might have caught in my re uh, like five rereads. I wanna do whatever I titled that video. It's been a long 24 hours, yo. I loved Strange the Dreamer. Strange the Dreamer is probably one of my favorite books of all time. Muse of Nightmares, I have been pumped about since I finished Strange the Dreamer earlier this year. I just can't wait. Lainey Taylor is one of my favorite authors, and so I'm just, oh, I was so freaking excited. So today I have a test I need to take, and I'm going to finish Wildcard today. That is my goal. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. I just got to a plot twist. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. It's Friday. 
and I filmed this clip before, but I, <laughs> I was gonna include it, but um, I am delusional the whole clip. So we're just gonna, <laughs> just not gonna include that. Um, it's Friday, the end to a very long week. So let me talk a little bit about the last few days of footage. So Wednesday night, I ended up finishing Wild Card. Um, that was really good, and I talk about it in my wrap up, but I felt like there was something missing. I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know. Like, I just, I, f I felt like there was something missing, and I really, really liked it. I had a ton of fun reading it, um, and I love the plot and the plot twist. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Those were really good. But I don't know. I felt like there was something missing this whole time, and I, I can't. I can't put my finger on it. I just can't. And then I was gonna start my next read, An Ember in the Ashes, but I folded laundry and watched um, the third season of Broadchurch, as you will have seen in that clip. Because um, I love that show, and the third season is very applicable to the political climate right now. <laughs> um, so I just watched that, and I had a couple tears, and then I went to bed. <laughs> Um, and then yesterday, Thursdays is like, every other Thursday is like my busiest day of the week because I have like work and then I have a student meeting at 8pm, um, that goes for like an hour, an hour and a half. <laughs> and that just, on Thursday, like literally on Thursday I came home, showered and just fell asleep. Like didn't do anything else <laughs> productive, which is okay, but I really wanted to get reading done, but I decided to, in my time that I could have done reading yesterday, I decided to do a four page rewrite. I have a paper due this weekend, so <laughs> that's great. Still got to finish that. I just feel like my life's all over the place. I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but I, I am all over the place. I feel like in grad school, none of life makes sense because you're just getting stuff done all the time. <laughs> and like life just, life in grad school is just a doozy. I'm going to get ready to go. I work this evening, um, but I'm going to get lunch hopefully. So let's talk about weekend plans before I run off. I work this evening, but then this weekend is my boyfriend and I's anniversary. So we're hanging out for that and we're going to do bookstore shopping. And I'll talk about that more on Saturday when we go, but um, that'll be fun. And what else is happening? Homework. <laughs> Homework and reading and Netflix and eating. That, that's my weekend plans. You know, that just that just happens sometimes. So I'm gonna get going. I think I might read a little bit before I have to leave the house um, and veg while doing so. Maybe eat some candy corn, if I can find my candy corn. <laughs> happy fall, y'all. Um, I'm so happy it's Friday. I'll, I'll see you in the next clip. I just, I can't. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. <laughs> I hate working retail. Oh! <laughs> Help me. Welcome to next Monday. <laughs> it's been a couple days. This weekend just kind of got ahead of me and so did the whole end of the week. Like I just, there was a lot of work stuff that happened. I had my, um, as you heard me talk about my student meeting and that just kind of drained me because that's super late on Thursdays and just kind of wiped me out. And so Friday I worked and then most of the weekend was spent just hanging out with my boyfriend for our anniversary so I was really bad at vlogging. <laughs>
let's recap what I read. You guys saw that I finished Wild Card, and I think I talked about that I was starting an Ember in the Ashes. I am like 150 pages in because I haven't had a ton of time to read. I had a big chunk of reading that I did on Sunday, which I think I got a clip of. It should have been like the clip before this or whatever. And I am really, really liking it so far. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised. Mostly because I totally forgot that like in this whole storyline in this book, like I generally remember bits and pieces, like the rebellion and stuff and all of that kind of stuff that happens. But I just totally forgot about the, the main plot of this book, <laughs> um, especially from Elias. Is that how you say his name? I just totally forgot about his storyline, which I feel kind of awful about, but I am very intrigued in it. <laughs> now because this is kind of like my favorite this the main story in this is kind of one of my favorite like fantasy tropes but yeah I'm really enjoying that so far I got to read a little bit over the weekend but I did mostly a huge paper rewrite that took up like a lot of my reading time which was not very fun let me tell you yeah overall reading week was really good finished wild card which was great and I read 150 pages in an Ember in the Ashes, which is great so far. I am sorry for how totally underwhelming, how average this reading blog is. I promise my next one will, I will hopefully do on a week that my work doesn't drain me like crazy. But I will see you in a few days with my next video. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm.